You see, there's always a counterfeit to what's real. Just like we have real Canadian money, we have counterfeit money. We have real American dollars, we have counterfeit dollars. We have real designer clothes, we have counterfeit designer clothes. We have designer bags and counterfeit. So just like in the, just like in the physical realm, in the spiritual realm, we have counterfeit of spirituality. You see, true spirituality should get you close to God. True spirituality should get you close to the creator that created us all. And you shouldn't have to pop drugs to do it. You shouldn't have to pop mushrooms or take DMT or go all the way to Brazil somewhere in some jungle and eat mushroom doo-doo or, or lick a toad. You shouldn't have none of, none of What does all this stuff have to do with God? There's nothing in the holy books, there's nothing in God's word that says, lick a toad to get close to me. It's because these are all counterfeit ways to contact God. And you're not contacting the real God, you're contacting the false God. And by contacting the false God, you're putting yourself in God's judgment, in God's wrath. And when you're in God's wrath or God's judgment, the only way to get out of that judgment, to get out of that wrath, is by Christ Jesus. Amen. It's by accepting Christ Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Turning your back on the world, picking up your cross, and following God. Allah revealed the Quran in Arabic language. And my friend here, do you know Arabic? No. Okay. لا يعلم العربية وهو يتكلم عن العربية هو رجل ليس له حق في أي يتكلم في كتاب العربية. He doesn't know Arabic and he's talking about a book in Arabic. How many languages do your God speak? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. No, 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 no. How many languages do your God speak? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. He's the creator of languages and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala can communicate in whichever way He wills. So can He communicate in English? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can communicate. Allah created human beings and human beings have languages. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And from his signs is the creation of the heaven and the earth. And the differences in your skin color. My beautiful brother here, my beautiful Muslims here, the differences in your skin color and in your languages. Allah says he created, this is from his signs. So of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the master of all language. Amen. So he created he created English, right? And in the English it says that it's such in the many pool. Now by you saying that I only can I only can, only can read the, the Quran in in, in, um, in Arabic, basically what you're saying is that God doesn't reveal his word to people who speak English. He only speaks to the people who speak Arabic. But if God created all languages, it means he should reveal his word in all languages, not just in, in Arabic. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sent the, the kitab of, of the of Torah in the in the language of Hebrew. He sent the book of Isa alayhi salam in which language? In, no, no, no. He didn't speak Greek. Uh, which one? Which, which book? Jesus. Jesus. What did he speak? Aramaic and Greek. Okay. So he sent it in that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates what he wills and he chooses whatever language he wills. So, so can, I be a, can I be a Muslim and, and, and read an English Quran? Bizzaf. It is the concepts. At Tawheed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one. He has no partner. Kullu Allahu Ahad. Say Allah is one. Allah is Samad. He is the one everything relies on. He relies on none. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He is not born and nor is he begotten. How do I become a Muslim? What do I got to say to become a Muslim? Well, of course. You know, shahada. You, in order to become a Muslim, my friend, it has to be based on conviction. You have to know the facts. What's the shahada though? Yes, I, we're, the shahada, what do you talk about? Uh, I believe in one God, and I believe that Muhammad is his, is his final messenger, right? Is that true? That is the shahada, yeah. So I gotta, so I gotta, I gotta confess Muhammad to be a Muslim. I can't just confess Allah. I gotta confess Allah and Muhammad. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Al yawm akmaltu lakum dinakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al Islam dina." This day I've completed your religion. And this was the day of Al Hajj Al Akbar, where he said, I've completed your religion and I have made Islam your deen. It is completion of all other deens. So, of course, the Prophet said, After I have been revealed, it is obligatory on the Jews and the Christians to believe in me as their final message. Do I got to confess them to be Muslim? Do I got to? Can I just say, I just believe in Allah? Do I got to believe in Allah and Muhammad? Well, Allah says, 
وما كنا معذبين حتى نبعث رسولا and we do not punish until we send a messenger so after it becomes clear to you by studying using your mind that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam must be a messenger then if you reject him then upon you is your actions on yawm al-qiyamah the day of judgment so no so basically i can't be a muslim without saying muhammad is his final messenger i said allah subhanahu says wa ma kunna mu'adhibin hatta nab'atha rasula and we do not punish until we send a messenger so if you're unaware of muhammad sallallahu being a messenger and you die somewhere in brazil Maybe Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful, perhaps He can forgive you. But if you know for a fact, you have Google on your phone, you got Apple on your phone, you got Siri on your phone, then you can go find some answers, my friend. I will go. I have an event going on. May Allah bless you. Take it easy. All right, so. My, my, yeah, I got my point. My, my point with saying that is if I can't become a Muslim without confessing Muhammad, it means that you're making partners with Allah. That's, 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 that's the point I'm making. If I, see, when you become Christian, you can just confess God. You can say, I believe in God, and you're one with God. To be a Muslim, you have to confess a man. You have to, you have to confess Allah and Muhammad, when Muhammad is just a man. So why do I got to confess a man to, uh, to get to God? Why do I got to confess a man to, to, uh, um, to be a Muslim? You understand? That's actually shirk. It's actually, it's actually making partners with Allah. When you say that, I, 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 when you gotta, if I can't become a Muslim without professing just Allah by himself, if I gotta associate a partner with him, which is Muhammad, that's shirk. I should be able to become a Muslim by only professing Allah. I shouldn't need Muhammad. So basically what you're saying is I need to go through a man to get to God. But, but, yeah, but can I, can I become a Muslim without, without professing Muhammad? Okay, and that's my point. Okay, okay. And that's my point. If I can't become a Muslim without just professing uh, Allah, what that means is you are associating partners with Allah okay, by saying okay. Muhammad. Okay, let me answer you. When, when I, I came God. back for round two. Okay. 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 Do you like Ali? Yeah. Oh, like uh, Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Like Mike Tyson. <laughs> like Mike Tyson. Don't, don't bite my ear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just messing with you. Hey, listen. Um, so shirk, shirk is associating partners with Allah. Allah subhanahu wa Allah is the creator of the universe. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he said, do not make me like the prophets before, where you raise my level above what I should be. Allah, Rasulullah was given a choice. He chose to be a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So shirk is the concept that Allah as a creator, other things create. Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, it's unfortunately it's shirk because it is said he is God in human form and God has some attributes such as he's unlimited. He has no limits. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, if you consider him a God, he has limits. He has to breathe oxygen. He has to go to the bathroom. He has to breathe to eat food. Allah has limits. Tell me. Can Allah um, can Allah come to earth? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's some questions, man. Can you give birth? No, but I'm not I'm not God. I'm I'm a man. You said there's nothing Allah can do. So Allah created earth. Can Allah inhabit earth? Can Allah come down and inhabit his earth that he, that he created? Are you having a boy or a girl? So, you, so you're not going to answer? Well, you know, Allah, if Allah can do everything, he should be able to inhabit the earth in which he created. So can Allah be in my Apple Watch? If he wants to be. If he wants to be. He's not, but, if he, but I'm not talking about an Apple Watch. I'm talking about earth. Earth, the thing that he created. The the, 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 the the globe or, or the, the, the sphere that he created. Can can Allah inhabit what he creates? Yes, I will answer you that. You see, you do not respect Allah, the creator of the universe. How dare you ask that about Allah? He's the creator of the universe. The only reason you're standing here is because he's giving you oxygen. How dare you? Don't ask like so that. no, the answer is no. Well, and that's my point. You said Allah is, Allah has no limits, right? Allah is, you, I just limited Allah right now. I can build a house and walk into my house. Allah can build a house or earth and can't walk into it. That means I, I have, I have, Allah has uh, less or more limits than I do. Because if I, I can build something, that's like Allah, just like if we call earth Allah's house, Allah built a house, but can't inhabit the house in which he built. So that means he's limited. My God can come down as a man, inhabit a man, and die for my sins. So, 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 so actually, actually, I think that, I think the God that I'm propagating is greater than the God that you're propagating. Because my God can inhabit the earth in which he built, and your God cannot. So yo, can your God go inside Kanye West? If he repents of his sin and get the Holy Spirit. Ah, so this guy likes his Yeezys. <laughs> if he repents of the sin and gets the Holy Spirit. Yeah. What? What's that, what's that guy doing with me? Oh, okay. Okay. That's, that's not the law. 
<laughs> yeah, so uh, tell, okay. tell them turn it up over there. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even that loud. You know, they, it's not that loud. You know what they're doing? They're just complaining because they don't want to hear the gospel. It's not even that loud. Usually it's louder than this. Okay. Okay. No worries. God bless you. All right. So Allah, he's, he has, so he's saying Allah not being in Kanye West is a limit. We say this question is. I didn't say that. I said, I said, if, if Kanye West repents of his sin, believes in Jesus Christ, he'll get the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit can live in Kanye West if he repents and, and believes in Christ Jesus. So can Allah live in a man? So this is a problem with their aql. Aql in Arabic is your mind. You see, the aql is a brain you get, and the brain will lead you to the truth. And the brain shows that the creator of the universe, he created the universe, and therefore he has certain attributes. And from those attributes is that he is not inside his creation. He is not limited. He is not binded by time, space, or laws. Rather, he's the creator of it. So your question to me is offensive for me because you're saying God has limits. Is he all powerful? Yes, of course. But he's not powerful enough to inhabit a man. But he's not powerful enough to come to earth. He's limited. He's not all powerful. All powerful means I can do all things. You just told me two things he can't do. He can't come into a man because of whatever word you, Arabic words you said about my brain. So he can't come into a man. That's one thing Allah can't do. He can't come into a man. Another thing Allah can't do. He can't come into earth. So I just showed you he's not all powerful. If he can't do something, he's no longer all powerful. Okay. Well, well you know, um, I will tell you this. That, you see, the... Abuda, Abuda, Abuda. You see, <laughs> respect. It's not, not respectful. Respect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, 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 he's good. He's good. No, he's, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's hey, he's good. He has to be here. He's good. He's good. Hey, he's not bad. It's a joke, bro. It's a joke. He's not bad like his friend. He's, he's light. His friend is a bad guy. This guy's light. He's like Pepsi Cola light. His next man, oh, that guy's dangerous. Diet, I'm diet. going over there. Diet Pepsi. All right? Uh, Why are you sending me this guy? Why are you sending the real guy? Hey, I'm just joking. It's okay. All right. I'm not sensitive. All right. No, you... Can you just say it in You said you, yeah, said stop. you, 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 you can like... Uh, okay. 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 So, my brothers and sisters, does your God have hands? Brothers and sisters, I don't know. The, but the Quran Allah, says he has hands. Calm down, bro. Calm down. Calm. I'm, talk, I'm talking to this guy. Does, 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 does Allah have hands? Does Allah have hands? Okay. So come on, let's because I'm talking to him. Actually, you're being disrespectful because I'm actually talking to him. I'll talk to you next. Okay. Okay. My qualifications. I'm studying in the University of Azhar, and I do khutbahs here every Friday. So I have some things. So, but you know, he's okay. He's speaking. You know, relax, you know, if you guys want, uh, you know, Danny, you guys are Muslim, let's chill, chill out. Uh, so what it is, is my friend, is that, you see, limits is the idea. The limit is that, for example, you depend on oxygen to exist. You depend on water for you to exist. You depend on the laws of the universe to, to move. The earth depends on the laws of physics to move. There is the laws of gravity. What we're saying is God, he's not bounded, he's not limited by these laws because he's the one who created these laws. And the stars are bounded by his command. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he created the rules and the laws which govern the universe. So he's not bounded by the laws he creates. Does that not make sense, my friends? Is he all merciful? Okay, well, I just proved he wasn't all-powerful. I understand what you're saying, but once again, all-powerful means he can do all things. I didn't say he could be bound. He could come to earth and not be bound by the laws. He could come to earth and walk on water like Christ did. He can come to earth and raise the dead like Christ did. He can come to earth and make the blind see like Christ did. So that's, that's, that's God coming that's to earth. Limitation. That's God coming to earth and not being bound by the earthly laws. That's, that's what a true God was. Well, the Bible says, repent, every one of you, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says if a man believes in his heart or a woman, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and that God the Father has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. The Bible says if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and that God the Father has raised him from the dead, you will be saved.